Hi guys and dolls, how are you? Okay, so I'm going to tell you something that you already know. I'm going to be Captain Obvious here, but <sighs> first of all, if you are subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're not subscribed, it's free. It doesn't cost you a dime. Go ahead and subscribe. First of all, first things first, pup date. <laughs> My puppies have found a home. Um, they are separated for the first time, but but they will learn how to um, connect to their owners and learn to live independently of each other. So that's a good thing. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I called the Humane Society today to see what was going on with my babies. Uh, I'm such a wuss. Anyway. All right, so I found some unpleasant news, and that's why I'm telling you to keep a close eye on your finances, okay? Um, thank God, I there were a few minor discrepancies on my credit card, and I didn't know what the hell was going on, and I start you start second-guessing yourself. Did I not keep a record of that? What's going on? And what really happened is... Thugsters were stealing money off my motherfucking card. One thing that I cannot stand is a thief. I cannot stand thieves. I can't stand that. It really makes me angry. Here's a really good clue. If it's not yours, keep your damn hands off of it. Okay? I had a few dollars on there, and the last time I checked, I had 10 cents on there. And I'm like, oh, oh, freaking hell, no, I don't think so. Found out that some little bastard, some little thieving fucker decided to make multiple 99 cents charges on there. And didn't just take 99 cents. We're going to take that over and over and over and over again. You think I'm not going to notice that, you dumbass? So he told me when I talked to the people at the credit card place, they said it's a prepaid card. They said, oh, well, there were the charges were f um, for a subscription to Google Aviva. There is no such thing as Google Aviva. You know why? Because I researched it because she asked me, well, did you talk to anybody? And I said, no, I didn't talk to anybody at Google. Um, there's no such thing as Google Aviva. Aviva is spelled I-V-I-V-V-A. Now, I will tell you what, it's, so it's a fake account, basically. Um, Aviva used to be a retail store for teenagers, okay? And then they closed the actual Aviva store, and now it's called Lulamon. I think it's L U. Let's see. L-U-L-U-E-M-O-N or something, Lulamon, I believe is, I don't know, freaking, I, you know, it's the first time I had any knowledge of any of this. So there's no such thing as Aviva. And when I called them and asked them, what's the connection between Aviva and Lulamon? She said, Aviva used to be an actual physical store, but we closed it down. So there's no such thing as that anymore. And I told her, well, there were some unauthorized charges on my card, multiple that were supposedly Aviva. She said, that sounds like a fake account. So when I contacted, she contacted her supervisor and her supervisor said, yeah, that sounds like a fake account because nothing like that exists. So I want you guys, the card is canceled. So their shopping spree is over. Sucks to be you. If you don't steal from people, you don't have to worry about this. Funny how that works, you little fucker. I can't stand it. I cannot stand a thief. That is just low life, slimy, uncalled for. Wow. Don't do it to someone else what you don't want done to yourself. Okay, you little bastard. Don't do it. Because when it comes back and bites you on the ass, you're not going to like it. It won't be nearly as much fun on the receiving end. I promise. So I'm warning you guys, I want you to um, keep a very close eye on your finances. We've got this whole COVID bullshit. We've got all of this that's been going on. People are desperate for money. People are going to be thieving, stealing, tricking, lying, all kinds of crap's going to be happening. And I want you to take, you know, 
I want you to keep a very close eye on your finances. And if there's any discrepancies, I don't care if it's $25, I don't care if it's $5, I want you to get to the bottom of it, call your credit card company and find out what in the hell is going on because there's just too much scheming going on and I'm just not having it. So like I said, as of today, their shopping spree is over and that's how that's going to go. But you got to keep a close eye. Um, even if you know for a fact that it's on there, call and double check to make sure, okay? Keep a close eye on your finances. And that goes for family members too. It doesn't have to be strangers that steal from you. This person could live in your household. It could be your kids stealing from you. It could be your spouse. It could be anybody. So don't think because you're related to somebody, they can't steal from you because <laughs> I'm here to tell you, anybody can steal, especially in today's day and age where everybody's finances is up in smoke pretty much, okay? Another thing I wanted to tell you is if you are being abused by your partner, I have heard excuses like, well, he didn't hit me. He was just verbally mean, but he never hit me. He never pushed, he pushed me one time or he called me a real bad name like once, but ever since then, it's never happened again. I don't care if it happened one time, 25 times, 125 times, you need to put a stop to it the first time it happens. Because if you don't, you're looking at possible years and years and years of abuse that you overlooked and it's going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. And in a lot of cases, psychological abuse is just as bad, if not worse than physical. I don't know if you could really compare them, but physical wounds can heal. Psychological wounds can be there for life unless you go to therapy and get to the bottom of it. So don't make excuses. Oh, well, he just told me I was, I look like a whale. <laughs> it's actually funny. It, that's not funny. That's not cute. That's not funny. Or he was mean to my kid. But my kid was being bad. Abuse is abuse is abuse is abuse. I don't want to hear excuses for it. When someone shows you who they are, I want you to realize it the first time. When they show you who they are, believe them the first time. Don't make them prove it over and over and over that they are horrible don't make them keep proving that to you over and over again. Don't do that. The first time an insult comes out of their mouth, you are the manager. I've said this time and time again. You are the manager, CEO, CFO, president and vice president of your life. You are the cat's meow when it comes to your life. And what you need to do as the supervisor of your life is you need to protect yourself from whoever it is, whether it's a family member, whether it's a spouse, whether it's a parent, I don't care who it is. If that person doesn't respect you, you have to put a stop to it now, right now. If you're on a date and somebody says something ignorant, and yes, people will say something stupid on a first date because that's called breaking you in. I'm going to do it in a way that's either insulting because I'm that ignorant or I'm going to do it in a way of a joke. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not funny. Being insulting is not cute and that's not funny. The exception to that would be if you've known someone for a lot of years, right? You've been friends for a lot of years. Friends crack on each other all the time. That's how they do. They're like, oh my God, you're wearing that ugly shirt again. I wouldn't be caught dead wearing that shirt, but that's on you. Do what you got to do, boo. You know, you, cr well, what are you talking about? You remember you wore such and such the other day and it had a hole in it. So if I was you, I would shut my mouth because you looked homeless. That's a different story because you're bartering back and forth, not bartering, you're bantering back and forth. That's what friends do. They crack on each other. Oh my God, you're so stupid. You're stupid too. Whatever. Let's go get some coffee. All right. Just shut your trap while we're in there because I'm tired of hearing your face. That's okay because that you're, you're just bantering and you already have 
how many years under your belt and that's how you normally do each other you just if if someone were to watch the two of you they'd be like oh my god they hate each other that's terrible and you guys are laughing about it later because you're you know the shock on everybody's face like oh my god they talk like that to each other what but that's a different scenario but when someone is getting to know you i told you on the first date if they act like an ass done we're not doing insults under the guise of oh he was just joking or she was just joking no i'm sorry no wrong someone is supposed to be putting their best foot forward when they first meet you if they're not doing that that's a warning and i don't care how many times you've been how many years you've been together um whether it's the first date the 50th day, you guys are married, you're engaged, you're seeing each other. I don't give a rat's ass how many years are involved. If this person is a rattlesnake, you have to get rid of them and you better get off of the numbers. We've been married for 25 years. I don't want to throw in the towel. Baby, the towel been thrown in a long, should have been thrown in a long time ago. You have got to lose the, the, the stuck on the numbers or you're stuck on, but we're married that's my husband or that's my spouse. I don't give a rat's ass what the title of the person is and how many years you have with this person. If they do not respect you, the years are irrelevant. Irrelevant. Yeah, they know you're, you know, y'all are married. You didn't sneak that up on them. They don't respect your vows. So does it matter if you're married? It doesn't. Because they don't respect the vows. You basically did vows to yourself. That person wasn't going to respect the vows. They're going to continue to cheat. They're going to continue to do whatever the hell they want to do when they want to do it. Lose the obsession with the numbers. I can't turn the towel in. We've been together 25 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. I don't care. That person probably lost respect for the so-called numbers a long time ago. And I told you this before, and I'll tell you again. People are terrified to be alone. But when you're with someone in a solid relationship, supposedly, and you're by yourself because you've been emotionally abandoned, honey, you are alone. You are alone. You're trying to avoid being alone, but you already are. So what's the difference if you get rid of them? You might as well because you're by yourself anyway. Everything that you go through, you have to go through by yourself. Okay? You have to go through everything by yourself. You know, you guys know I had three surgeries last year. That's a lot of damn surgeries. I didn't have a man by my side because I wasn't going to settle for garbage. I had a friend by my side, but I didn't have, someone tried to hoover me um, last October. They tried to hoover me, which is when a person tries to suck you back in. Thus the name Hoover. And I didn't even know this son of a bitch had my number still. It's been what, seven, eight years? She was good supply. I'll keep her phone number. No, baby, lose my number. Forget you knew me. You're a loser. So I basically told him, he didn't remember when my birthday was, but he, my birthday is in October. He didn't remember that. So he contacted me in October, probably feeling like, oh, well, she's in a good mood. It's her birthday month and I'm going to weasel my way back in. No, you're not. Lose my number. Okay. If I'm going to be alone, I'm going to be alone. I'm not going to be alone in a relationship because that's a waste of my damn time. I'm just saying. Stop diminishing the abuse. So he only yelled at me once. He only called me a bitch one time. And I understand his mom had just died. and He was just losing his mind. I don't give a shit if everybody in his family died. There, there is no excuse for that. None. You have to be the supervisor. And when you're the supervisor, you have to do things that's unpleasant to do, like extra training for someone who's not getting it. Firing people because they don't respect their position and could care less. So you have to fire them. 
okay? The supervisor has to do things that they do not want to do. All right? So come on. Come on now. You're the supervisor. If somebody needs to be fired, fire them. Cut them loose. Have enough respect for yourself. Follow your instincts. Follow your gut. Follow what you feel. You know how um, somebody says something a little, they do something subtle that's rude. Like um, you're, you're getting ready to make a purchase on something and you're like, hi, how are you? To the cashier, just being friendly. And they don't respond. You know damn well they heard you. And they don't respond. That sits with you funny. Like something in you goes, okay, that was rude, but whatever. You've, you've picked up on it. The same thing happens when you're involved with someone and they say or do something that's disrespectful like that. Even if it's passive aggressive or subtle, it's just something that sits sideways with you. Pay attention to that. Your body has a built-in alarm system. It knows when something's not right or something was said in a tone of voice that's very disrespectful or very dismissive. You better pay attention to that stuff and stop making excuses for people. There is no excuse. When you're ignorant and you're abusive, you have got to be gone. We got a lot of crap going on in this country, and I'm not going to get on a political rant, but we're all, the United States Americans are getting bent over as usual. Uh, people don't have money because of COVID. People don't have money because they lost their job. People don't have money because of all kinds of reasons. Their company got bought out by another company. There's a whole myriad of reasons why people don't have money, and they're going to suck us dry. They're going to suck us dry of more, you know, more money. Where the hell are we supposed to get that money from? Pull it out of our ass? I was just curious. So with the world going in the direction it's going, the last thing you need is someone who's not a partner. Someone who's a ball and chain around your neck. You don't need that. We got enough problems going on. Okay? We got enough problems going on. If somebody's going to contribute to the problem and they're not going to be a solution or they're not going to help with this problem, you got to get the hell up out of my face because you're making matters worse. And what does that do after a while? It takes a toll on you mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. It smashes your health into the ground. Now you got high blood pressure. That doesn't run in your family. You've never had high blood pressure, but you got it now because you got this ball and chain around your neck that you don't want to get rid of. Let that fool go. Male or female, let their ass go. Okay? We have to support each other. The world that we're in now, we have to support each other. We have to be in each other's corner. If somebody is not part of the solution, they're part of the problem. And if you're part of the problem, you've got to get gone. Okay? Stop making excuses for people. Fire their ass. They're not contributing anything to you except heartache anyway. And I don't care how fine they are. That's another thing. One more thing before I go. Y'all have got to let go of, but this person is so fine or she's so beautiful. I got to admit, I've never seen a woman as beautiful as her. Wow. I'm shocked that she's even paying attention to me because I ain't nobody. But she looks like a damn model. She's talking to me. Y'all better let that shit go. Because just because something sparkles, that doesn't mean it's gold. Let go of the outer package. I don't give two dams if they, like I said, if they got dimples, they got a ding spark in their eye. They got, you know, this going on, that going on. They look like a damn model. Stepped off right off the magazine to pay attention to little old me. Wow. No, you got to let that shit go because some of the most evil people come in a beautiful package. And when you open up the box, you find out it's a freaking pipe bomb. Too late to find out because it blew, blew your head off uh, as soon as you open the box, Okay. But y'all got to let that shit go. I don't give a shit if they are the finest person that ever walked ever. If they are poison, get rid of them. You go to the club, Mr. Fine Ass talks to you and you get all... <laughs> uh, look, don't make me snatch you out the club because you acting stupid. Okay. You look at, there's some people like, um, I'm going to just tell you straight up, like uh, Ted Bundy, he wasn't an ugly person. 
He wasn't bad looking. I've seen better looking, but he wasn't a terrible person to look at. Well, he used that to his advantage. He flashed his pearly whites every time you turn around. Ding! You know, and he bludgeoned women to death. And he went back to the dead body and he put makeup on that person and combed their freaking hair when they're dead. You really think the fact that he looked all right didn't look too bad? You think that makes up for the damage that he did? Some of the best packages are dangerous when you open them. You open them and there's an explosive device inside. Stop getting hung up on people's looks because that's ridiculous. And that is absolutely no indication of who that person truly is. Got it? Good. Love you.